Okay, all three of these words sound the same, but they are not ever interchangeable. So the first one there is either a place or a state, and I'll explain what I mean by that um, in a minute. So for instance, uh, the ball went over there. So there is a place. And if I say there is something missing, um, I'm saying the state of things is that something is missing. So, you know, there's no way that's going to happen. Sometimes there is sort of describing the state of something. But either way, that's that there. T-H-E-R-E. -E. The next one. Only ever means belonging to them. So, I went to their house. It belongs to them. I borrowed their car. The car belongs to them. So, their E I R. I think of it as like the with an I R on the end because I sometimes have trouble remembering where the I or the E comes first. Only ever means belonging to them. And this last one, only ever equals they are. So, they are going home. Um, is they're going home. And listen, you can use them all in the same sentence. So, um, I drove over to their place to borrow, hang on, let's see if I can get this right. Now, I don't want to borrow anything of theirs to, because, um, and they were not there. Were not there. Good. Um, they're out, obviously. So, that was a little bit harder than I thought. So, I drove over to their place, the place that belonged to them. And they were not there, that was that location. And there, being they are out, obviously. And if you write it like that, then it's very easy for the reader to understand it, and you won't confuse them. So, um, good luck with that.